What's going on folks? Today, we're actually gonna be eating an elk burger from Fuddruckers. Now, I'm not gonna be eating this alone. I'm actually doing a collaboration today with Anna Marie Mukbang. Check her out in the description below. Now, she's been someone I've subscribed to for a couple months now, and she's really awesome. She has really good videos, very high energy on her videos, and definitely someone worth checking out. So yeah, again, description on below. Definitely watch this video and hers. And uh, I currently have the food actually warming up here, so let me go get that for you. Be right back. So yeah, I actually uh, rebroiled this because it was a little cold from travel time, but uh, here you go for the actual burger bun here itself. Looks hella good. I got it with cheddar cheese, and uh, it's actually an elk burger. Um, I think it's like a um, I'm gonna guess a quarter pound probably. Then I got like lettuce, tomatoes, um, pickles, and jalapenos as well. And then I was gonna get a sauce for it, like um, I mean I was gonna get like ketchup and mustard and stuff, but I realized they actually got nacho cheese here, so I'm about to put that on top. So let me build this real quick. Boom. And last but not least, the nacho cheese. I actually got the regular nacho cheese for this one, and then I have the jalapeno one for dipping some of my um, fries and onion rings. Oh, and yeah, I do have fries and onion rings here. I'll show you that a little bit later, but time to time to drop some of this on the sandwich. Come on, got cheddar on top of cheddar. Let's go. There you go. Boom, stacked. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up here. Three, two, one. Squish it down a little bit. I know I got a kind of lopsided burger, I don't care, but it's about to be good. So, here we're looking at the full burger itself. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Even though I built it a little lopsided, the burger itself is bomb. No, I haven't. I think this is like the first time I've tasted elk. At least that I can remember. Hmm. Get a little piece of the, just the meat there. Mm. I actually ordered it medium rare. It's good. It's not seasoned. It tastes really like savory from the flavoring of it. Yeah, it's really good quality meat, which is cool because last time I went to Fuddruckers and it was one that was back in Daly City. Like their burgers were shit back then, but they closed down that one. I went to the one in a different area. So far, it's really good. Let me see. Get a Mm. That's the shot. Let me see if I can showcase the burger now. Mm, and with the nacho cheese though. Now, like I was saying earlier, I've been following Anna for like I don't know, a couple months now, and um, yeah, her channel is actually really dope. She um. Whenever she gets on camera, like she always has a really high energy opening. And like her personality always just shines through in her videos. It's dope. Um, not to mention, she also has a really cute son uh, named Colton. Extremely cute son. That's why I recommend checking her out. But um, she actually gave me some questions to answer. Let me see. It's going to take me a minute to find those. 
me go ahead and eat a little bit more of this burger first while I look. Mmm. Come on. Mmm. Since I have it out, might as well dip some of this in here. A little bit with that cheese, too. Mm. Oh, that tastes so good. Oh, much better experience than what I've had in the past, that's for sure. <clears throat> okay, I'm looking for the questions right now. Ah, oh, found them. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, her first question was, how did you and your wife meet? Well, we actually met in choir class. So, we had a class together our senior year in high school. And um, so, we would we would look at each other from there. Like, I, I introduced myself there. But, the actual time when we first talked to each other was, um, I actually explained it in my recent um, couples tag video where... We met in a homecoming. We were doing like a homecoming skit. She was performing in the skit. I was too, but I was also a choreographer. And so I was asking her questions there. And uh, yeah, that's basically how we met from there. Oh, I got onion rings on the side too. I'm about to dip it in that cheese. Mm. Let me go ahead and pour a little bit more of this on here. I'm using a jalapeno cheddar um, nacho cheese now. Come on. There you go. Oh, that's better. Now I get a full bite of cheese in there. Mmm. what's up so for her second question what inspires you to keep doing mukbangs to be honest to you guys i mean i initially started doing mukbangs really just to please my wife and like make her laugh and you know keep her happy because she was watching a lot of them and i was thinking it'd be kind of cool it'd be kind of funny if i did one you know so that was why i started but what keeps me doing it is really just you know knowing that I'm serving you guys and, you know, giving you guys some value and some content. At least hopefully. That's what I hope to be doing. But, yeah, it keeps me going. It's fun being able to interact and comment with you guys. and Or, interact to comments and, you know, answer your guys' questions and whatnot. And, um, yeah, I hope to keep doing it. I'm, I ain't going nowhere. I'm be doing it for a while, so. Huh, that will mainly be it. I'm gonna dip some more in here. Mm. I 
actually finished this a lot faster than I thought. I kind of wish I got a half pound burger after looking at it. I mean, it is a big burger, but I'm pretty sure I can demolish a half pound burger hella fast, you know? Mmm. Mm. All right, cool. So her last question. If you can eat anything, one food every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? Brownies. I was it brown? Oh man, actually no. I have to be a tie. I'm in between brownies and chocolate chip cookies right now. I don't know what to choose right now. I've grown up having brownies as my favorite dessert, right? But then like chocolate chip cookies lately, especially the ones I've been trying that were like, like freshly baked, with a little bit of salt on them, have been so delicious. So it's like. Now, I'm gonna say chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, I think I can eat those for the rest of my life and not get sick of them. Excuse me. Those, I mean, with some milk, of course. Yeah. If we're talking about like food, food, something actually nutritious, probably a roast beef sandwich. I know you saw me, guys, I know you guys saw me eat the Lil Lucas one because <clears throat> that stuff was bomb, but now nah, if I can have one of those every day for the rest of my life, Lunch and dinner time. Perfect. I'll be set. No problem. Right, let me actually kill some of these fries here. Got the perfect dipping sauce. Woo woo. Mm. Not bad. They got a little cold over time, but it's cool. We traveled like 30 minutes to get to Fuddrucker just due to traffic and stuff. Mm. Mm. I'm going to kill my last onion ring here. Boom. Oh, I might have got way too much cheese, I think. Spilling over. Mm. All right. Honestly, I was actually thinking about getting the ribeye sandwich. Just because I saw that on their menu and I was like, damn, that looks hella bomb too. Really glad I got the elk burger. Really glad I got it with fries and onion rings too. It's so. It's really good. Really good. Mm. Okay. Let me finish this last couple bites here. Look at that goodness. Goodness gracious. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, I actually got um, was it their Fud Ruckers cherry cream cola? Not bad. 
I'm not usually into sweet drinks as much as I used to be anymore. But I have it every once in a while. This would probably go hella good with some vodka, though. Get a little Smirnoff in there. Get a little... What's that? Get a little Ciroc. It'd be good to go for the day. Our burger, onion rings, all done. Unfortunately. Now all that's left. A couple more fries. Now, as of as of creating this video, I haven't seen her video just yet, but I really hope she enjoyed her food. I swear, I actually wasn't a Fuddruckers fan, at least until today. Now I can say that their food, or their burgers are actually hella good. Hmm. Hmm. These would be so much better reheated, though. Too lazy. That'd take, like, another five minutes or so. Let's finish it up. And the jalapeno cheddar here. Mm. No. Between both cheddar cheeses, I'm not really tasting too much difference from them. I mean, I guess the jalapeno one has a little bit, like a, maybe slightly more kick. I could barely tell. Mm. This just both taste good. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Got that last fry here. There you go. Get as much cheese as possible with it. Whoop whoop. Mm. Woo! Cheesy. Mmm. That was great though. Ooh, well, hey. I hope you guys really enjoyed what you saw. Again, this was a collab with Anna Marie Mukbang. Definitely check out her channel. Um, it'll be in the description below. And um, you know, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you guys again. Uh, definitely leave a like on the page and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.